All right, guys, it's Yara here. Today, I'm going to be showcasing this super strong combo that all it needs is Warbler plus Cobalt. Uh, it can also be Warbler plus Bird Call or Cobalt plus Bird Call. It could be Warbler plus Foolish Burial. I mean, there's a lot of different ways to achieve this combo that, and this combo doesn't lose to Dark Ruler no more, doesn't lose to Evenly Match, it doesn't lose to Lava Golem, it doesn't lose to a lot of Board Breakers because I've made it so that... Uh, it's able to be able to be strong enough to withstand those cards. And I almost dropped this deck because uh, the Bishop were so strong. And people that are still playing the Fable combo to go into the Herald Synchro 4. Uh, that's a little bit outdated. It loses to the Bishops very hard. So I, I almost dropped this deck because I'm like, I can't really play with the Bishops because they... they to stop my combo but guess what i made this combo so it's bestial proof so if you get hit with the bested doesn't matter where you get hit with the bested you're still gonna be able to achieve the same combo so uh yeah this this combo is super insane and at the end of the combo i'm gonna be showcasing the deck profile and uh it, it this answers every single meta deck and you're gonna be able to see why so yeah let's get started so to begin with, uh, standard, right? You activate Warbler, Warbler effect, summon out Cobalt. Cobalt, uh, we always want to search out Nerval first uh, because uh, if you get hit with a weird hand trap like Shifter or something, at least you have follow up. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to we're gonna search out Nerval. Now we're going to go into our uh, Recital because it came back to two, which is kind of insane. Thank you, Konami. Even if this was a three, we played two anyway. So, uh, we're gonna activate effect, detach, it doesn't matter which one you detach. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and search out blue, we search out blue, we search out the sapphire. Now we activate sapphire effects as we control a wing beast. We're gonna go ahead and special summon this out, summon out Nerval. Now we're gonna make our second recital. This combo is only possible because of this, by the way. So I'm gonna put it in defense position just in case something happens. We're gonna activate effect. I'm gonna go ahead and search out. Uh, we can search out Diddy Crow right here just to have another interruption. Uh, now we're gonna activate Nerval Effect. Nerval Effect's gonna go ahead and add a copy of Kit. Kit is gonna be crucial here. You wanna add Kit, not any other Tri Brigade card. Now we're gonna use both of these. So we're gonna go into the uh, Blossom. Blossom Effect, so I'm gonna Kit. Kit Effect. Uh, now keep in mind you might want to write down every step of this combo because everything that I'm doing is for a reason right like I'm gonna explain right here like when I activate a kit effect we're gonna go ahead and banish recital recital uh, Nerval and warbler to go into the omen the reason why I'm banishing all of this Nerval because we're gonna bring it back later on and the rest of this because they're not really useful to us this ones they're good to attach uh turn three if you want to make zeus so you kind of want to leave them in the graveyard just in case you need them later on uh now we're gonna go ahead and this is also another crucial part usually you will link off kit right here but we're not gonna link off kit just yet so now we're gonna go ahead and use both of these to go into the uh bear broom we're gonna go ahead and activate uh chain link one and chain link two so we're gonna go ahead and draw and put back doesn't matter what we draw so and now we're gonna go ahead and search we're, we're gonna do chain link to this just so it doesn't get ash blossom right so now we're gonna go ahead and search out a copy of guess what the barrier statue right here with our omen uh because we have four banished we can search out a level four so we're gonna go ahead and search out a copy of bear statue right so now we're gonna activate bear brooms effect to discard two random cards that's why we have droplet right here just to like uh show you like blank cards and we're gonna go ahead and target our nerval we special summon our nerval now we're gonna activate nerval effect banish two we're gonna go ahead and banish these two right here you kind of want to banish this one because it's a dark so you kind of don't want to give them a free bestial at this point a lot of them don't bestial me because they're like i'm gonna wait for a crucial moment uh to activate my bested so guess what they got punished you you banish the only dark you have so to activate Nerval effect, we're going to summon a Link 2. We're going to summon out the Double Dragon Lords. Every zone that I'm putting the monsters in is crucial. So Kit, you want to summon it on this zone. You want to put uh, Double Dragon Lords on this zone. Uh, everything is crucial, right? Just keep in mind, you want to write this down. So we're going to summon out the Double Dragon Lords, which is going to be very good for our end board. So 
now we're gonna go ahead and link off the kit and the bear broom to go into our sprite elf right now we're gonna do uh we can do actually we want to do chain link one and then chain link two because even if our bear broom gets ashed we don't really care honestly we don't really care because revolt is not necessary in this in this end board so we're gonna do chain link two bear broom so we're gonna go ahead and search out a copy of the revolt we're gonna put back our droplet and now kid is gonna go ahead and trigger and we're gonna send a copy of that's right we're gonna send oath very strong card very strong card so this is gonna protect us from dark Ulu no more right geki dark holes you name it right all those tedious because this says if you control a beast beast warrior and a winged beast monster on your side of the field you can target a spell or trap card on the field and negate it quick effect so but you might be wondering like wait a minute you only have beast warrior and wing beast that's where elf comes into play we're gonna activate elf effect summoning out our kit we're gonna put it probably either here or here one of these two zones right uh and you can do this this is a legal play because you're locked into only being able to special summon out tri brigade monsters and guess what kit is a tri brigade monster so this is a 100 percent legal play so uh now guess what we have not normal summoned yet so we're just gonna go ahead and normal summon out our bear statue we're gonna put it right over here elf is protecting both our double dragon lords and the wind bear statue so uh they they, they cannot get impermed or chaliced or anything like that they're being protected by the elf so uh now we're gonna go ahead and set a copy of uh revolt right over here so this is our end board right here so look uh, the opponent cannot Dark Ruler no more even leaves us because we have Oath to be able to negate that because we control a Beast, Beast Warrior, and a Wing Beast. They cannot special summon anything but Wing, uh, but Wind Monsters. So, uh, yeah, none of the meta decks are Wind, be wind Monsters, but Flounderies. But we have an answer for Flounderies. Hey, hey, don't count me out just yet, okay? We have an answer for Flounderies. Don't think I didn't take that into consideration. And I'll, I'll show it to you once the deck profile, after, at, once uh, we get to the deck profile section. But, uh, and so what normally they will try to do here is they will try to go into the uh, battle phase, normal summon something, go into battle phase, try to beat over the Windbear statue because that's literally all they can do. And guess what? We have our double Dragon Lords to be able to. Uh, bounce back their normal summon monsters so they cannot beat over the wind bear statue and you usually want to send out the nerve to bounce so you you send this as cost with double dragon lords bounce back their monster and you get a surge off of nerve so and then during your turn you can go, go ahead and link both of these out if you want to only if you want to though so you can link both of these out go into the doom eagle because it's a wind monster and then you can make access code or you can just make tri brigade place right there so a lot of options that you have here you have a dd crow you have everything right so now we're gonna get to the deck profile section let's go so we're gonna go to the deck profile and this is the deck profile right here uh i'm just gonna go ahead and explain to you the choices that i've made with this deck profile we have our Ash Blossoms to stop the starters, to stop Sharon's or the field spells. We have our Wind Beast for the end board, our, our statue, Wind statue. Diddy Crow, we have our Lilith Barrel to be able to make Zeus turn three. Uh, Celestine Wagtail, you can still perform the combo if you open this, plus Bird Call. Um, so now we have the Cobalt, we have the Swallow, we have the three, three Warblers, one blue, two browns browns are actually pretty good because you kind of want to open it a lot of the times because you can summon it from your blossom or your warbler and get the effect we have the three fractals uh, because opening fractal means that you can end up on appaloosa plus revolt which is pretty good uh, we have the keras one keras because uh, we kind of want to rely mainly on our Leerlisk. Our tri Brigade monsters are there just like puzzle pieces that you, you need to achieve certain things. But what facilitates m most things is going to be your, your Leerlisk monster. So one kit to be able to send Oath. Three Nerve Balls because it comes up a lot. Uh, 
the fact that he's level one also and he's searchable searchable with the recital is pretty good so uh we're gonna play three tanky because he's at three now we want maximum consistency once again fractal is revolt plus appaloosa so uh foolish burial to be if you open a warbler plus foolish burial you can foolish burial goods the i mean foolish burial the cobalt and make the same end board uh three forbidden droplet because a lot of the times you actually want to discard your stuff you want to discard cobalt you want to discard nerval you want to discard kit uh that means that if you have warbler in hand you can add so many back from the graveyard so pretty good plays right there harpy's feather duster to hit those back row decks three bird calls this card is insane you want to max out on it there is no other reason why you shouldn't max out on this one for one uh you can still end up on a palooza revolt just with a single one for one so uh we're gonna go ahead and go into the triple tactic talent uh it's very good going first or going second we're gonna go with the infinite impermanence pretty good going first or going second you can set it down going first Activate it going second. Oath, very good card that can help you prevent stuff. Dark Ruler no more. Dark Hole, I've already mentioned that. A lot of people are running board breakers, especially in the side deck. So you, you need Oath to be able to protect you. And the Revolt. Uh, the Revolt is good, you know, just to make an omen and banish their board is follow up. So if you open that Fractal, you need the Revolt because Appaloosa Revolt, right? So Tanky, Appaloosa Revolt. So now we're gonna go into the side deck. So, a lot of people were like, well, Yara, this, this end board loses to Flounderies. They can still normal summon under the Windbear statue. Guess what? If we're going up against Flounderies, you end up on the same board, same board, but instead you just normal summon this. You, you swap the King Tiger Wahoo for the Bear statue. You search this off of Omen, right? Because it's a level four. You search it, and then during the end of your combo instead of normal summoning out the bear statue you summon out the king tiger wahoo that stops flounderies right so you kind of just swap it out right most of the meta is now flounderies so you kind of want to keep this in the main deck but post side deck you you make this right if you know you're going up against flounderies nico main king level one beast means that you can banish it off your tri brigade monsters plus you want to side this in uh going second or even going first sometimes against uh tier limits right so they get punished right they can still play in the end phase but guess what uh they can't set their trap cards they can't do xyz's or any of those plays so gamma for going second very good card against almost every single meta deck three cosmic cyclones because runic is a thing stops the field spell against back row decks very good against floodgates very good a pointer you want to look at their hand knock out whatever card may stop you which against that board what can stop you right so but you want to knock out a card just to see their hand right and three harpies feather storm because you can actually pull it off from here uh, if you have wind bear statue you can set this activate it if you have your uh, recital if you have any of your leerless monsters you can activate this so this wins you games by itself so now for the extra deck extra deck is kind of spicy two omen i wish i could run three but there's no room uh, one blossom if you don't have elf you can run two uh blossoms like if you want to save some money because you can still achieve the same end board uh but uh, minus the kit that's the only part but you but since this is a beast your oath is still live so uh one bear broom for the combo one elf very good protects your uh double dragon lords and your barrier from getting impermed very good card very good card plus it's gonna be a follow-up every single turn that is up on the field so uh, al mirage if you open kit if you open uh if you open cobalt then you can normal summon out cobalt go into al mirage and then you can go like barrel target this you get the effect you can go into zeus uh Heart, Doom Eagle, very good for OTK and for going into access code Appaloosa for the end board. If you open just Fractal, uh, you can just make Appaloosa Revolt, uh, Double Dragon Lords. Very good card. Very good card. The fact that it's a Beast Warrior, the fact that it bounces, super good card. Access code just to be able to end games, turn three when it comes back to you. Uh, the recital starling very good at two we, even if it was a three you wouldn't run three so two is a sweet spot uh assemble nightingale the fact that this is a wabuku 
it's so crazy you can end up on this active effect and guess what you're not gonna die that turn uh and, and, and to make zeus going second very good card downer magician to be able to make a four material zeus uh in this deck you can actually make a six material zeus which is kind of crazy and we're running the the man of the hour zeus himself mvp going second a very good card so yeah uh, I want you guys to try this out in your locals. Uh, I've experimented with this deck list so much, so much, so many changes, so many cards that I've had to borrow from from some of my friends, like this one. I, I borrow this. Shout out Nick, letting me borrow this. Uh, so many, so many cards in here. So, yep. As always, guys, this was Yara here, and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.